Hey there, how's it going? Well, I was just thinking about how ignorant and clueless I was when I was in my 20s. I remember being a rebel without a clue. I, in my mid to later 20s, I looked like this. And I just thought it, it, it made me truly rebellious, but I didn't know what I was actually rebelling against. Fashion? I don't know. I remember putting out a, a, a personal ad, and I met this cool guy through, a pers through that personal ad. I was looking for other long-haired uh, gay guys, because it, it, at that time, uh, it was very taboo for gay men to have long hair, right? And so I met this cool guy who I was friends with for a while, but he eventually faded out of my life because he didn't really want to be around me because I was so panicky, so nervous, so much anxiety all the time, especially around sex. I still never got quite got over that kind of anxiety. I still deal with anxiety around sex today. It's bad. Not as bad as back then, though. But... Anyway, he was a he was a musician, a fellow musician. He did he a lot of his stuff kind of revolved around blues and blues scales and but uh man, could he shred on the guitar? He, he was he was amazing. And he introduced me to a lot of music I hadn't previously been aware of. He introduced me to Led Zeppelin, he introduced me to the Rolling Stones. He tried introducing me to Rage Against the Machine and tried to get me into the, the message that they were saying. And at that time, I just, I just thought, oh, why is this lead singer so angry? Yes, we're, we're a cog in a machine, so what? And, and yes, a society is built up, is up on stilts, so what? Right? Didn't understand the message about that was talking about how, you know, the way that police are and a lot of police brutality is uh, very similar to uh, you know white supremacists that 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 there's a lot of white supremacists and that and white supremacy within the police force yeah I didn't get that message back then had no idea um, quite a provocative message back then but uh, anyway then I think about. You know, before then, way before then, you know, when I still had the short hair and was a preppy boy-looking person, I, I embraced the twink look, and uh, I was in a... Uh, I, I came out of the closet at 17 to, to my friends and family, to my close friends and family, came out to more people and wore the pins and everything, uh, you know, after I was 18, especially after I got out of high school, I, I you know, you saw me, you knew I was gay because I'd had, I was wearing the pins and, and all of that, right? But I remember uh, uh, being part of Oasis. Uh, it's uh, in Tacoma. Here in Tacoma, it was a uh, gay, lesbian, bisexual, transgender uh, youth uh organization organization well youth group and uh you know taught about healthy sexuality and safe sex and uh tried to well it, it was very helpful didn't totally get me out of my fear of sex in general but uh it at least helped, and it was it was a great place to meet people and and chat and they had a, a weekly meetings and uh, but we had also marched. We were part of the Pride March in Seattle, and uh, as I've said before uh, in in quite older videos, uh, at one point we were right in front of ACT UP in the march. And ACT UP has always just been, they've taken to such extremes that 
they turn off anyone that was maybe riding the fence of, of acceptance of LGBT with that attitude, you have to accept me. That kind of attitude. And it's just like, no, that's, that's not going to help anything. I remember when we were going past, uh, at the pride marches, there's always some, some religious peoples ha having those signs that are similar to Westboro Baptist church. And I remember that I, I remember that one of the act up people going, you have to accept me. And I always thought to myself, no, no, they don't, especially not when you act like that. Anyway, so I remember uh, several times uh, at the end of the, uh, this was back when the parades took place on Broadway and they ended at Volunteer Park. And uh, at Volunteer Park, when they'd have the, the stage and there'd be speakers and there'd be musicians and a number of skits sometimes but i i remember on several occasions there would be people speaking up there and they were basically suggesting that we should add lgbt to affirmative action and i remember even back then as ignorant as i was about so many things i wasn't ignorant about that and i was like well no that's a stupid idea don't don't add people to a, a lgbt to affirmative action people should be hired based on their merit or primarily on their merit. I mean, there's obviously, you know, if you know someone who knows someone and you're in the right place at the right time, yeah, that, that can get someone a job too. But for the most part, it should be based on merit and not just based off of someone's demographic. <clears throat> um, but, uh, so I, even, even when I was ignorant, really, really ignorant, at least I understood that. I think to myself, what would I have been like if in my 20s, these things, you know, the internet would have been what it's like and these things would have been out. Would I have given into the, uh, the extreme identity politics that have been around since like, especially since 2016, 2015 area? Would I have given into that? Or would I have still been like, no, this, this is messed up. I'd like to think that I would have said, hey, this is messed up, but who knows? Who knows? You know, I mean, yeah, the by the time I was in my late 20s, there were the early stages of the internet, but, you know, Alta Vista wasn't out yet. Google certainly wasn't a company yet. But, uh, man, how much different would I have been? Um... I guess I don't know what more to say. Um, you know, if, if you're old enough, if you're watching my videos and you're old enough that uh, you can safely say that, yeah, the internet wasn't around when you were younger, do you think you would have uh, given into a lot of the stuff that's on the internet now, or do you think uh, you, think you would have uh, rebelled against that? Do you think you would have said, hey, no, this is messed up? I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Thanks.